Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season six, episode 14 of My Hero Academia, Hellish Hell. But uh, considering all the events that have happened, what are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? I love a recap. Thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for episodes of My Hero every Friday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended fulling forms, and we are getting very close to Season 7, which I have never seen before. So from that point forward, it will be a joint blind reaction, which is never happened Hell for My yeah. Hero, which very is very exciting. fun. But for now, are we excited for Episode 14 of My Hero Academia Season 6? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! In the aftermath of the destruction, I read the Safety Commission's post-mortem report. Only then did I get a full picture of everything that went down that day. I am not here. Yeah, so Just before the put huge that on villain arrest statue. operation Damn, began, that's disrespectful. the chairwoman invited a key figure involved in the Deca incident to their headquarters for an exploratory business meeting. So this is before Congratulations, the President. Mm -hmm. What a boon, sir. Who'd have guessed the Commission would propose a joint venture to develop support items? Right. They are not our biggest fans. They've had an eye on us for some time. Claiming we've played a big role in fueling public anxiety across the country? The timing <laughs> suggests they call because they can't ignore our wonderful products any longer. And if we succeed today and form a strong bond with them, there's no end to the data we can mine. A few spies, some backdoors in our software, we'll uncover their every secret. Including... The identity of the clandestine agent the Commission has had under their wing since childhood. With an upgraded Tomura Shigaraki leading our fight, the Paranormal Liberation Front will make even greater strides towards progress. People will truly be free. The society my father, the Great Destro, wished for is so close. Can you feel it? <laughs> the other me is so happy. The other me is so happy? Fantastic intro coming. Okay, new scarf and a mask. But check out the visuals. Yeah, this is very, very cool. And look at Deku. I have so many questions, but I want to listen to it. And I'm going to forget my questions by the end of the intro. We'll watch it again. Yeah. Okay, so he's using Black Web like Spider-Man. Amazing. Okay, who is this? Who could that be? Who could this be? Very cool hair off yeah. the bat. I'm a fan. I knew you would like um, her. Um no idea who she is or what how yeah. she could possibly fit into the story, but that's fine. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Baby Shigaraki breaking out of mummified old Shigaraki. Wow. Very cool. Lots of new information. Yeah. Very cool song. I like that a lot. Isn't it beautiful, the yeah. song? Mm -hmm. It's the same group that made the first Jujutsu Kaisen intro. Oh, love it. But uh, any thoughts on those visuals? Anything that stuck out to you? Okay. Does Deku have a new scarf? Or did I just... Okay. Well, I noticed that Hawks with a Child 
who has Hawk's powers, it seems, whatever that's about. I think it looks great. I'm very excited. Yeah, great intro. I would say if I had to rank probably what society would say is the best, I'd say it's society. that one. <laughs> I think season fours is my favorite Polaris. Okay. Uh, but it, I think they're close to interchangeable. It's a very good intro. Definitely second best, if not first. Nice. I apologize for making you wait. Please, think nothing of it. We appreciate you pitching such a lucrative proposal to our company. It was an honor to hear from you. We are the ones who are grateful. I speak for everyone when I say the Safety Commission would be thrilled to work with Detnarat. You've developed so many groundbreaking products. However, as for the proposal... Oh? There are some line items I'd like to discuss. That... Hmm. Oh... <laughs> He got stressed out that quickly. That's impressive. I mean, on our stressful. Acumen to catch us in an ambush. I knew we were being watched by the safety commission, of course. But I thought you'd come around and couldn't live without our cutting-edge designs. It seems my celebration was premature. Wow. It's, it's twice. Wait, well, that's so why the other me. Oh, that's when he said it's the okay. other tactics. Okay, okay. Aren't you supposed to champion diplomacy and order? Oh well, this was inevitable, necessary even. But we strive for society without order, pure freedom. The Anarchy seeds have already been sown. Mm -hmm. You will be liberated soon. With the death of the chairwoman. The Heroes Public Safety Commission was thrown into disarray. While chaos unfolded, the raid operation went ahead as planned. Alright, now we're in recap mode. But pay attention because now you can get all the heroes, details. The I'm Jocker locked Oster. in. Their target was All For One's right-hand man, the doctor who created the bio-engineered Nomu, Kyudai Garaki. Those you've toyed with and those who cared for them. Do you know what they all say? It's our turn to take something away from you. However, <laughs> the man they captured was in actuality a double created by Jean Lubagawara, the duplicating villain known as Twice. When a surprise horde of Nomu appeared, the hospital suddenly became a battlefield. Thinking back on it now, they must have already been fighting while those of us in the rear guard evacuated citizens, though we had no idea what was going on at the time. Three minutes after the raid began, Mirko cornered the real Garaki in a hidden lab, where he managed to activate five powerful Nomu called High Ends. <laughs> she had a hell of an arc. She really did. Despite being wounded, Mirko found Tomura Shigaraki in suspended animation. She wasn't able to fully destroy the lab, and as more heroes rushed to the scene, the situation devolved into a free-for-all. Present Mike Clutch incoming. In the end, our worst fears came true. Shigaraki awakened. Wielding enhanced quirks, he decimated Jaku City. In a flash, the hospital became ground zero for his decay wave. That was nuts. I wasn't yeah. there, but I felt Shigaraki. I knew. Also, I do want to say, mathematically, when he activated it in the fight against the stress guy, mm -hmm. he did up a few blocks, and this was like a city. Okay. So that's the difference in the power. Gotcha. Jaku City. Wow. And he could have gone flash, further. The that's hospital <laughs> became ground zero for his decay wave. I wasn't there, but I felt Shigaraki. I that's knew a crazy power by. difference. Yeah. While Yikes. Endeavor's team fought, another army of heroes... Oh, and I like to think... So, his quirk danger sense, I think this is I it kicking there, in here. But I felt okay. Shigaraki. I knew he was close by. While Endeavor's team fought, another army of heroes amassed 80 kilometers away from Jaku Hospital at the Paranormal Liberation Front's secret base. Well, that's how far was 80 kilometers. Okay. They were the second prong of the sweeping raid operation, an army led by Ed Shot. Ah, uh, yeah! That's one scary leader rendered powerless! <laughs> Preemptive binding! Lack of chain prison! <laughs> Their surprise attack was a success. 
and it looked as though the heroes would have an easy victory. According to the report, Hawks, who was in the middle of an undercover investigation at the villa, had the primary goal of keeping the villains from using twice his quirk, which could change the tide of the battle. It would be so different if he had had his end, I guess it power. Down yeah, right? Back. Atone for your crimes and start over. No! I stopped giving a damn about myself a long time ago! Hawks was able to carry out his mission, but was badly injured. He was rescued by my classmate Tsukuyomi, who barely managed to flee with the number two hero. I believe in you! All do! Whatever you did was justified! So don't you die! With the appearance of Gezen, a paranormal Liberation Front Lieutenant, and Gigantomachia, all for one's enormous bodyguard, the fight quickly became a brawl the heroes weren't able to keep contained. Ordered to find his way to Shigaraki's side, Gigantomachia started running towards Jaku City, taking members of the League and the Liberation Front with him. No heroes were Mid capable midnight. of overcoming midnight. this raw That's power. horrible. Just yeah. falling with debris no landing on her? Stop this. Force. We need you. Together, as one, we'll take down this villain! The only hope of slowing Gigantomachia's advance lay in the Not lady went the hard too. Yeah. students who fought to dose him with sedatives. I am Red Riot! Yikes. You won't hurt them! This is here! Heroes, take him down! You can't rely on the work study students to do all the work! You're deciding that now? <laughs> and then this fight. God. continued to fight in what was fast becoming a battle to the death. This is Endeavor! Does anybody copy? I'm fighting Shigaraki where the hospital stood! If there's anyone who can move without touching the ground, form a perimeter! Oh. Shigaraki's modifications gave him supercharged physical strength and regeneration abilities, which forced the heroes to the brink. Wow. Oh. It's a tough shot. Gigantomachia reached his master in Jaku. Yes, the so-called villain seen in front of you is Endeavor's oldest son. That's when Dobby, a member of the League of Villains, revealed that he was in fact Endeavor's son in a message broadcast across the country. His recording included video of Hawks killing Bubagawara. In just a few minutes, he caused people nationwide to doubt heroes. Oh no. My allies and I were at an overwhelming disadvantage. But Best Sorry, genus, I'm baby. Late. Your favorite. You know As me. This moment, best genus is I love genes. <laughs> and then Mario! That was the best. Yeah, that was a great As moment. The yeah. The mammalian joined the fray. The sedatives the work study students used to drug Gigantomachia began to take effect. Allowing us to restrain him. But it wasn't over. Shigaraki attempted to flee with the Nomu that had surfaced from inside the hospital ruins. The heroes worked diligently, rescuing and evacuating citizens, fighting on the front lines until they were no longer able to stand. And yet, Shigaraki still slipped through our fingers, escaping with seven Nomu. The final pages of the report include a few interesting details. They note that every hero of the scene explicitly said that no that work horse? students participated in the fight against Shigaraki. What? What? Are you, what? It looked like there was a horse. The report include a few interesting de details. To the right, the far right. Oh uh, yeah. That's a horse face. <laughs> they note okay. That every hero yeah. of the scene right. explicitly said that no work study students participated in the fight against Shigaraki. <laughs> All part was erased from the record. That All right. is the only reference to me, Kachan, and Todoroki in the entire document. Wow. 
but that's so insane to put that there. there i can't believe they were all on the same page for that shigaraki no all for one was desperately trying to steal one for all from me you won't be taking this quirk brother because we've all chosen to remain inside of this boy i clearly remember the first wielder's defiance and shigaraki's face he looked like he wanted to be rescued The report was sparse regarding what happened after Shigaraki escaped. Only the barest facts were recorded. Jaku General Hospital's chairman of the board, Kyudai Garaki, was arrested for aiding and abetting murder, mutilating <laughs> Deserved. corpses, illegal Fair. cork use, embezzling Under the hospital funds, and various other crimes. Gigantomachia. Yeah, what didn't captured. he do? Two oh. transport helicopters escorted him from the field. Atsuhiro All right. Sako. Member of the League of Villains. Villain name, Mr. Compress. Captured. He was gravely injured and unconscious when rushed to the hospital. Any incapacitated Nomu were restrained in Maidens, to be autopsied later. The equipment from the hidden lab was taken. With any luck, analysis will give us a better idea of exactly how Garaki used it. have not stopped our liberation. Hear me. No, we have only just begun to rock. Meanwhile, a thousand sheep pierce. Wow. Oh. I can't lose now. For my sake and read Destros. It is our responsibility to stop your nefarious plot. Oh, shut up. You're a dog wagging his tail for the government! If I have to be a in this world to have peace, then so be it! <laughs> Cemento's clutch. I'm sorry, Redestro. I failed the cause. I don't know if he can hear you. Redestro, hmm. aka Rikia Yotsubashi, Paranormal Liberation Front Lieutenant. Captured. Get him. Paranormal Liberation Front Lieutenant. Captured. Koku Hanabada, Paranormal Liberation Front Lieutenant and leader of the Hearts and Mind Party. Captured. In addition, 16,929 members of the PLF who had gathered at the Gunga Villa for a meeting were also apprehended. 16,000? 16, yeah. Members of the PLF, wow, this is a successful mission. the Villa on Gigantomachia or fled in his wake and remain on the run. While the raid focused on two main locations, there were smaller searches across the country which resulted in even more villains being taken into custody. None of those targets evaded arrest. We don't yet know what we can learn from them. The heroes even ended up arresting some of their own as well. Those who sympathized with the villains. Slide and wow. go. And that's all the data in the official record. Since the report covered the villain raid operation specifically, there's probably no reason to add any further details. Why don't you go ahead and However, add further details? The aftermath of the mission was devastating. Warning from Ryukyu's work study students. Kimiko Toga is on the run. She's likely somewhere nearby. Damn psycho. That's the last thing we need. We're already overwhelmed. <laughs> No, an evacuation triage shelter, and call in every doctor you can find. God, even that won't be enough. The entire city is just rubble. Yeah. Oh, God. That's got to be I'll one of the worst ways to go. Back. Yeah. I know you want it, so please save yourself. Oh, did you hear that? God, you I want my endeavor back. Oh, I know you God. Want it, so please save yourself. No, no, no. I don't care about a stupid thing. I just want you to be okay. Okay. That was crazy close. 
when they're the lucky ones. The boy's hurt. Yeah. His leg might be broken. We need a doctor to check him out right away. Someone's trapped. I got this. Go. Hey, hero. Please. My wife is inside. Right. Which apartment? 403. I'll rescue her. And everyone else I can. I have to. She's really good for rescue. Yeah. yeah. Since you can both walk, will you head to the shelter on your own? And this is all what they learned during provisional licensing. Mm -hmm. There are still lives to be saved. People struggling all around me. I have to go beyond. <laughs> There's an elderly couple huddled together on the rooftop. On it. And someone stuck on the fifth floor. I can get them. I need oh, he's hearing from all the birds. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> this They're is getting me. Oh. Uh. Can get him. I need O negative blood stat. Oh no, there are only four bags left. That's not nearly enough. Doctor, this one's not responding. I am on the ground for now, but I can't save everyone. Prioritize treatable patients. Uh. Water. It's okay. We're here for you. We'll get you water in a second. Please hurry, or I'll dry out. I give up. I can't do this. It's just too much. I quit. I don't want to be a hero anymore. Please. Wow. It's pretty Please weak stuff, me. gotta say. Is... Yeah. How? Why? It's Midnight's so glasses? Video. She was fine. You guys heard her. We all did. No! Wake up! Miss Midnight, please! You can't be gone! Someone say this isn't happening. Stop joking and open your eyes! What? Is it funny? Get up and tell us what to do! Can you hear me? We need you! Yeah. Wake She's gone. Up, please wake up! Yeah, hero Holy shit. It's majestic. Is this for real? Because it feels like a nightmare. This can't possibly be happening, oh, right? God. So this was Yairozu's teacher, yeah. the one who could fly According and like give rings to people. Right, yeah. gave after his arrest, oh, Shigaraki no. died when he was broken out of his chamber. Given the state of the equipment, there should have been no way to resuscitate him. The electric shock, which was so weak that the hero Exless likely didn't even feel it isn't what brought him back. Shigaraki was revived by his dreams and hatred. Now we try to pick up the pieces. We try to come to terms with the many lives lost because of Shigaraki's resolve and what's to come. Lost a lot? Oh, this yeah. country is falling apart. That means Holy so shit. But he wrecked Endy. Guy's done for. Can you believe what all the headlines are saying? If they're true, what happens next? I never trusted that guy, even when he was still number two. His one job is to Endeavor. Did he forget that? He better explain himself and fast. It might be safer abroad. Maybe we should move. Wow. It'll be all right. Don't be a wimp. We've got five weenies People on People are our scared. Side. Don't make sure everyone's okay. Those are the kids from the. Provisional license yeah, re-examination. Yeah. I feel it. Events didn't play out exactly to plan, but we have momentum. Yeah, close enough. Poor fools. They like to oh. think tomorrow will bring them hope. But I'm not giving the world time to recover. It's my turn now. My turn forever. Listen well, my tireless gnome. It's time to give you an important task. Free my real body. Oh. And that's where we are left. We're freeing the real body. Yep. Okay. Tartarus is all but impenetrable from the outside. There is always a way. <laughs> the 
There's not a single bit of stimulation here. Wow. So all for one's kind of just in the driver's seat all with Shigaraki. All for one's, yeah, completely taken over. And Midnight's dead. Lots of people are dead. Midnight's dead. Majestic's dead. Lots of people in the city. It's just, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Well, and all the infrastructure. It's just, God, what a mess. Yeah, but, uh... All for one said he's not gonna take a break. So no. or Shigaraki he's said just that. Just gonna keep, yeah, yeah, gonna keep rolling. Not looking great, but uh, thank you for watching and make <laughs> sure to like, comment, subscribe down below if you're excited to see whatever happens next in this series. Uh, I definitely know, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, and if you want to see it right now in its extended full-length forms, these episodes are all posted to Patreon right now. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. Uh, for now, let's go to question one. Also, if you join the Patreon, you can suggest what show we're going to watch next. Those polls are pretty few and far in between because it, it, when different shows, different lengths. But anytime that it's time to decide a show, we'll put polls out on there and sort of just probe what people are feeling there. So if you want to... Uh, suggest what shows to watch next you can also join the patreon question one hbomb24 asks what are your thoughts on the casualties of the hero side during this conflict particularly midnight and how just like her students we as an audience didn't even see how she died do you think the heroes will be will be able to bounce back after such a pyrrhic victory do you know that word i don't one at too great of a cost to have been worthwhile to the victor oh what a great word wow H-Bomb 24, good word. Great word, H-Bomb 24. But, uh, um, do you think they'll be able to bounce back after such a period victory, given they didn't even disable or capture Shigaraki? So thoughts on the casualties in Midnight? I mean, it's, it's devastating, and the fact that they just had it happen off screen, especially in a battle with so many other losses, it kind of shows, like, how insignificant the damage was from the villain's side. Mm. Like, they did so much damage that we couldn't even see all of it, which is really unsettling. Um, yeah, it was a pretty wide sweeping sort of in operation. Yeah, like it feels overwhelming because there was too much going on to see what happened, which like kind of puts you in the show a little. You think they'll be able to bounce back or? I mean, did they kill any villains? I they, they killed twice and they captured 16,000. Okay, okay. And they captured Redestro and a, like four of his lieutenant. Okay, so that that I feel like could make a difference. But I'll ask you a related question. All now. right. Ariana asks, "What is your opinion on the pro who said he's quitting? Do you sympathize with how insane it must be in the wake of this tragedy, considering that all of the current pros have been able to relax and somewhat coast by because All Might was around for years, picking up everybody's slack. Now they're just getting doses of real life battle and de devastation, which they've never known before. So, what's your opinion on?" Yeah, I mean, I I understand the thought process. Like, I can totally see how after having coasted kind of your entire career, you're suddenly thrown into this extremely horrible situation where you can hear everyone around you. Like, I, the idea of having so many people under rubble and being able to hear them and not having such a, a massive like square footage of damage that you just can't really even cover that that is so overwhelming i just i don't know that you get to quit in that moment i i agree and i'll i'll back in that moment we were watching it i was like how are you gonna quit this moment i was a little callous there like i get that it is very difficult but like you are a h-e-r-o you're a hero like how are you gonna have a license to hero mm -hmm. and not do situation one of being a hero which is save people like i personally think it's morally wrong for them to give up when there are people like literally under rubble like i i think if you are being paid to be a hero you got to go be a hero yeah well if i get you, it like, being hard though but like i, Ochako I understand and, and, it being like, kids hard are out there doing it exactly like. and it's also i don't know it would be one thing to say like i'm not gonna fight anymore but to say i'm not gonna help anymore yeah it, like that i get being like i can't be on the front lines right now yeah. like i literally just cannot not do this right now what? but saying like mm, i'm just gonna like take off no yeah but uh let's go to our final question final question 
Deshaun Adams asks, what are your thoughts on the government trying to cover up the fact they trained the students in their internships, then authorized a bunch of 16-year-olds to go to war with the most dangerous villains in all of Japan, more than likely without the parents' consent because they know they need to keep a lid on what they knew? I mean, textbook government, am I right? But like... Like... God, like I get covering it up when they were fighting Stain, but like this? You think you do like do you I'm think it was, I'm not surprised at anything. But like do you think it's the was the right thing to do or do you Fuck think no. Yeah. No. Um, in what way? The the kids going to fight or not telling or both or what? I mean we've had the conversation about like sending kids into the very, very front lines of battle. Like fighting the, the main villain. Yeah. Like. And like, yeah, they're licensed but they're not pros yet, but in like an existential threat to society it's not gonna benefit everyone if only the very best heroes fight get wiped out and then leave only the like student heroes to just get massacred as well like if you only have one shot you kind of have to put all your eggs in that basket and so then i'd say you would need to be honest about it but i also can see the theory behind like we don't want society to know that things are so bad that we're employing the children because we feel like unless we use literally every resource we have that we're all entirely fucked like you can't you can't say that yeah the the other thing that's occurring to me is that deku and todoroki and bakugo weren't supposed to be there and deku was just starting to get followed by shigaraki so he made a decision to go yeah so it could be another one of those like the police being like we could arrest you for using your quirks but but then again they have their provisional licenses like i feel like if you have your provisional licenses they should be able to say that they were a part of it but i get i get not wanting to sow more distrust because like trust in the heroes is wavering you can like hear it in the oh question. yeah in, in, like what'd you make of that this episode? that i thought that was really really interesting and i mean like fair like why why do you think it's fair that if everything was so good for so long and then all of a sudden a bunch of bad shit starts to happen questioning like can you actually do this job i think is a fair really question to wonder because when i watched this i was like what else would you have happen? Like, what else would you have them do? I mean, they don't know the specifics of like the battle and war situations. They just know that they were fine for a really long time under All Might, and, and then All Might retired, and, and then now everything got hard shit, right because they're ter- because they have less power. Like, I- right? So the idea that like, oh wow, everything's terrible because you're shit at your job. Like that is going to make people less it's, confident. I don't think it's everything's. Te- they, that's true. But in terms of it being right, I disagree with. Because if you're in reality where you have heroes defending you with everything they have and dying to protect you, and they still, they warded off the villain for now, but like didn't quite finish the job. Like, what are you gonna say? Like, hey, you suck your job. All right, who else are you gonna send? I'm trying everything I have. I, people died. Like, what, what other option is there? Like, I don't get anything other than being like, helping support in some way and trying to get things to be better but like complaining about it like that just for some reason when i watch this i'm like that feels unrealistic i I mean i guess it's realistic but like it feels stupid as shit in my opinion Mm -hmm. like no offense i just feel like questioning endeavor different thing altogether because you just got that video of like from dobby but it's like heroes are heroes so as all of this is happening for like what people think about one of them is going to be applied to everyone so as especially all, the number one like exactly like if as all of this shit is coming out at once it's just going to create this like tornado of doubt that's gonna yeah. cloud everyone and, that's, and you can't blame people for that I that's do, what people though, do with I heroes do. you can't blame the heroes if they're trying their best but you don't know that they're, they're trying dying. their best some of them are some of them aren't and the rest of them are mortally wounded and in horrible critical condition i just don't like you're gonna look at like one leg one eye aizawa and be like you should have done better like you're looking at endeavor with like eight holes in him i guess burned to a crisp maybe it's not so much like an individual like this hero isn't doing enough but like heroes as an entity like less individual more collective thinking like not doing enough like what if the power is more than we have like there's no planning if you don't have the power level but people can't just come to the conclusion oh 
we're way beyond our depth and we're all gonna die. Yes. We're fucked. You like, know what they the have other to... option is besides complain? Support. Nah. <laughs> Anyway, not gonna happen. Anyway, that's where we're left for this episode of My Hero. Are we excited for episode 15? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.